I just, I just pull up my own Twitch now. Yeah. Advantage there anymore. All right, and I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna start off with my A7M1. Baby, camera, love you. You in? Hey, it's Bentwing. That was the guy that I was telling you about that got called to make 15. You brought your bombs in? Playing when I can find people in it, when I can catch them. high, moving right to left. At two o'clock low across the river, moving right to left. I think it's friendly, it's moving with us. Yeah, I don't know about him just yet. See you. Another one at the one o'clock now, high, distant. Mine is friendly. Mine was friendly. I hit him as well. A point. Yeah, it looks like he's missing most of his thing there. Back up. I'm on the. Guide on me. All right, I'm gonna stay up high. Guide on me. Yeah, that's 
That's why I don't even bring those bombs in. They're so worthless. There you go. There you, there you go. Nice. Maybe set his engine on fire and he cooked. I'm uh, circling above you here. Guide on me. You report in as well. Alright, you're just working. Look. Yep, alright, I see you two down there. Alright, yep, I'm just, uh, I'm at like 10,000 feet above you. Directly overhead. Yeah. See nothing yet. Mark it on the map. Attention to the map. No, no joy. Guide on me. Oh wait, hold on. I see. No, that's runway. So it's two parallel runways. I thought that was contract or like wingtip. What is? Alright, I'm still just orbiting in the middle of Charlie 2. Uh, about about 12,000 feet, just looking for a target to dive down on. It's pretty uh, barren down there. <laughs> I got a traffic. Attention here. to the map! Attention to the designated grid zone! He's high. He's about 8,000 feet. Moving northbound. Friendly AA appears to be firing at him. Attention to the designated grid square! On me! Need backup! Alright. Move off to me. Ah, uh, you're getting it, dude. Considering three months ago we were learning how to take off and you were crashing on the airfield and... Uh, well, no, dude, that's that's a testament to how far you've come. I was telling my friend about it the other day. I think... Yeah, I just made that pass.
Yeah, I only used like, mm, like maybe 26 cannon rounds for that. Yeah, that guy at work that's been playing War Thunder. Well, a lot of people play War Thunder at work, but they, they're mostly just arcade tanks, and, and you know they just they're just kind of casual with it. And they just want to keep it casual. But there's one dude, my old trainer. He's been like really into it, man. He's one. He's trying to build a computer. He keeps like coming to me with more and more money. Like, okay, do you think I can build a decent computer for this much? And he's like, he's a country boy fisherman. Like, he doesn't know any. I mean, and now all of a sudden, now he knows about RAM and he knows about motherboards and he's like sending me builds all the time because he wants to build a computer for War Thunder. And I brought in my Xbox controller to work and um, diving on a target here. brought him my Xbox controller. Low, low, low. He set up simulator controls for him, dude. He's been playing simulator at work. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and no, no head tracker or anything like that. And dude, I like, I mean, he spent three days taking off and landing in all of his aircraft, like just doing pattern work and like getting it because uh, he didn't want to like crash on takeoff in the game and whatnot. And I was, and he was just having fun with that. And then, I think this guy just snapped off his flaps. I think he's in an uncontrolled dive. On me! Attention to the designated grid zone. Yep. The guy I was chasing uh, broke his plane. All right, I'm turning around. Mark again. Oh, that's probably me, man. I'm right here. Guide on me! On me! Yeah, the guy that I was chasing ran into the ground. There's another one behind you. That I'm looking at now. Uh, oh. No, I think it was a friendly that just strafed the vehicle. Alright, I'm climbing back up. So, you know, when I tell him, I'm like, hey, man, like, just, just be prepared to die 16 times in a row and never see the enemy, you know, be prepared to, you know, get just absolutely wrecked, right? Like, it, it, it's, it's going to happen. Don't worry about it. And so he goes, he's like, all right, you know, help, help me find a game, like, help me show me how the room list works and everything like that. So I, like, I set him up presets for tier two and tier three, and I get them all going, and I get them all set up. I explain to him all the battle rank stuff, and I explain to him. Yeah, that's friendly. That's the friendly strafer. Uh, I don't see one o'clock high over there. Yeah, and so he jumps into his first game, and I'm like kind of coaching him. I'm like, hey, you know, there's a little fleet of bombers over there. There's a little fleet of attackers over there. You know, watch out for these guys. Blah, 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 right? And I'm explaining to him all the finer points of the objectives and whatnot. And then he, I'm like, hey, you know, he's like, well, what about these bombers? Like, can I go after them? And I'm like, well, let's go see, you know, what they are. He gets on the back of a JU-87, shoots it down, and then proceeds to injure two more aircraft. And I'm like, dude, like, go back and land. Like, go take that experience back home with you. And so he goes and he lands successfully. And I, and I was like, all right, first of all, wow. All right, nice job. Second of all, Guide on me. and second of all, don't let that be your expectation of how this is gonna go from uh, from now on. Yeah, I was like, the, I was like, let's chalk that up to beginner's luck for right now. You know, don't don't try to, you know. And then uh, he played this next game, and I was in the, the I was in the IFR room, and he was playing while I was working. And then I came out, and I was like, "So how'd it go?" He's like, "Yeah, I died six times, and I didn't ever see anybody." I was like, "Okay, that's that's about more like what I expected." But still, I was really impressed that he was uh, he was able to get a kill on his first life. I am here chasing two targets that are southbound. I am at four thousand. I don't Attention to the map. see anything behind me. I'm on a guy that's climbing high right. It looks like a P-47 to me. It's right here. Attention to the designated grid square! Need backup! Guide on me! 
Yeah, this is a people reason of it. I got an enemy here. God, P-47s are tough. Yeah, um, I'm on a P-47. Hitting them. There, got them. P-61, copy. Yep, I see him. Look, he's... Yep, oh yeah, he just got me too. Damn, he was fast. Oh, I get to bring in a backup with no spawn point? What's that? Is that like, it's just free? Uh, yeah, because you can't use them in, in, in during confrontation, yeah. Huh, that's cool. Dude, yeah, he did not. Uh, like I, I made a climbing turn and I was trying to, uh, trying to get away from him, man, and he did not miss me. I saw the rounds coming and I started to juke, figuring that you know his first couple of rounds would be off, and they were dead on. Go uh, north of the base, just to Delta 3. Let's meet there and then take that guy on together. Oh shit, I, he's already there. Oh, never mind. No, he's not. Somebody just fired at somebody, but it wasn't a PC. Traffic here. To the Somebody's engaging zone. somebody else. They're playing Japanese, man. Need 
Yep. friendly behind me. That took way too long. Alright, there's uh, another one coming up. Uh, my clock, I'm turning around on. I'll get you heading here a second. Yeah, super, super low. Right. Attention to the map! Follow me! Moving away from me. Oh, the guy behind you? Alright. Alright, turn around. Attention to the designated grid zone! When do you have to go, sweetheart? I'm hungry too. Yeah. Jeffrey, are we close to a stopping point? You gonna be re relieving the dogs anytime soon? Sorry, babe. Um, I don't. Uh, is there somebody on you? I don't see you or the player. All right, I see you now. Yeah, you look clear. Ah, here we go. Got something now. Yeah, that's another P47. Attention to the designated no, grid 
Um, 2300 RPMs is a pretty good setting. 23, like, 2100 RPMs pretty casual. 2300 RPMs is a really good efficient uh, speed that's comfortable for everybody. And uh, 2400 is pretty aggressive. And normally 2500 and above is your full power settings for takeoff and landing and stuff like that. Those are all just super generalized numbers. And it's different for every aircraft, so it's really hard for me to tell you. killed that guy that was strafing my AA, but my rounds carried through and killed the AA that he was strafing. <laughs> hey, it was the Cats of War guy. This is a P-61 pilot. I guess he must have lost his P-61. Alright, well, uh, you want to take a uh, break of Rooney, and uh, you go take care of the dogs. I'll go feed the Catherine, and then uh, see her off, because she's going to be gone for the whole night. Is the park thing today? Say what? I don't know. Um, I mean, actually, apparently there's a music festival in the park or something like that today, and uh, what time is that, babe? 5.30ish, and right now it's 3.42. I might just be getting off then. And you're probably going to be going to bed by the time I get back from that. Alright. Well, we'll just call it quits. I'm going to go feed uh, feed our hungers. And, uh, you work tomorrow? Man, you got to get out of classroom, dude. I was complaining to... I was complaining to Finland about it yesterday. I was like, dude, on Jeffrey's new schedule, I never get to play with him. Good. I, I mean, I still get to see you occasionally, but it's like for an hour or two, and then... And then you're gone. All right, cool. Later, homie. sweetheart. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Alright, let me uh, land. I'm on final now.
Well, it's a bit of a lie. I'm, a, I'm in like a pretty extended final, but I am technically aligned with the runway, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. It's it raining pretty good. Hey, uh, Raven, it is raining pretty, pretty good outside, so they may cancel it. What time will you be going to bed? Two hours or so? Okay, cool. So if we get done eating and the park thing gets canceled, yeah, I'll just text you. We can get back on for another hour or so. Hey, we got dual parallel runways. Nice. You guys got dual parallels? Attention to the map. Yes. Do we do We have staggered runways? So like uh we got dual parallels, but the the left runway is staggered like pretty far past the um yeah, it's, it's, it's about a mile, like the left threshold begins about a mile beyond the right threshold, so the glide paths are high enough that we just use visual separation, and uh, you can bring in, like, a small plane right on top of a heavy and just have them, like, follow the heavy and right above and be behind them the whole time. Oh my god, you're so close! <laughs> I mean, like, they're, they're, they're so close to being 2,500 feet. Why'd they stop at 24? Yeah, I thought you said... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, ah, don't tickle me. Check it out, babe. Oh, I thought I was going to open it up again in the first place, but I didn't. Yes, I was. Thank you for noticing. Now I'm in third place, damn it. I shouldn't have opened that up at all. <laughs> you ready for some food, sweetheart? Let's do it. Zach got the new phone. Later.